And welcome back. Let's replay Black Crypt. Yes, I did just decide to edit out the black bit and we are picking up in the same starting room that we had before because, well, it's the same fucking game. I don't know what else I expected. We start with a wooden shield, da da da. And a backpack, which we're just going to give to... Ah, oh, crap. That moment when you realise that you gave no one else a remotely decent strength stat. Uh, let's see, what have we got? 14, 20, 8, 7, holy shit, we're in for a challenge. Uh, so, what works in our favour is I realise that all of the stuff I was carrying in the last play, we don't actually have to carry, so that might not be the, the handicap that I'm worrying it'll be food, because that actually matters in this game. We'll give all of that to Moo at the moment. Bit of cheese, put that down. Fortunately it doesn't spoil, and later on in the game we get a spell that makes it redundant anyway. Um, what else? So, getting our spells ready. Let's see. There we go. Um, we have no second level spells, so we can just get those ready. Blackwell Wizard Site is our map. We want that. Uh, we give him light and healing. Okay, so we now have wizard sight going. Can I kill that somehow? How do I kill the map? Nope, that's not it. Let's go back. Resume game. Okay, so it's not the escape key. Um, just out of curiosity, how do I get out of that? Oh, right click. Duh. Okay, and so we can... Wizard site will only map the area that you explore while the spell is running. So, to actually get anything useful out of it, we have to check that out. Now, I overlooked a lot of secrets last time we played through, so I'm going to be watching that more closely this time. And there goes my phone. I really should have actually set my timer going so that I'm not here all fucking day. Anyway. So we have starting equipment, we have our spells ready. This tells me that the party leader is Moo, and that is relevant later on when we have items that only um, one character can use, and so the party leader has to be using them, and we can change who that is, but for example, later on we have to make the cleric the leader for bullshit reasons. Um, anyway, let's get out of this room. What does this say? The hero's tombs lie deep below your way, is thick with lock and foe. Wow, they're poets. Uh, we have a bag. Full of daggers, throwing daggers. We shall give them to Jahira. And then we can all remember my favourite part about the fucking first playthrough of this game, which was picking shit up after a fight. Oh my god, I hated that. I still rage over that. Something I love about Legend of Grimrock is the not having to police everything after a fight. Um, actually, we'll give them to Black... Oh my god. There we go. Put them in there. He gets bigger bags to put them in anyway. Right, that's not the way out. Moo cannot read this plaque. Can anybody else read this plaque? Herbert West cannot read this plaque. Mr. Blackwell cannot read the plaque. Jahira cannot read the plaque. Okay, we get the idea. They're all illiterate. That's why they became adventurers, because, well, yeah, they flunked. And we're not going to open that door yet. Let's explore a bit. We have a heart key and some meat. Um, you're wondering where the channel update is, and it's coming. I'm just getting my bearings. What's through here? Nothing. Anyway, background to the... Let's not go there, because that's, that's a force field, and if I were less attentive to my surroundings, that would have been, for example, two levels down, that would have been a ward, of, uh, a ward that would have just insta jibbed our party. Um, game came out in the 80s by Raven. Um in the same vein as Art the Beholder and Dungeon Master and of course we went a Raven then went on to release um, games like um, well, release work on Heretic, Hexen and the like so it's left, no it's not left click how do I attack? there we go, I click on the portraits okay <laughs> we're learning very very slowly um, I'm probably going to aim for hour length episodes I'm thinking because the upload size was stuff all and I actually really really enjoy this game so the variable is going to be relevant to my update actually what's this say we picked up a couple of parchments one where did I put that other one there it is scroll of life okay we're gonna hang on to that 
What does this say? Nope. Oh my god. How do we read? How do we read? Oh, there we go. Ogre Blade is cursed. It's ways are wicked. If you possess this evil sword, your life force will slowly drain away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't care. Um, okay. So, update time. I have been gone for a hell of a long time, as I'm sure three of you have noticed. And I'd like to take this opportunity to apologize to my fan. Um, but... Life happened, and it was awesome, and I make no apologies for that, but yes, sorry for not having anything to upload for the last little while. Um, where was I? Where was life when I last recorded anything? I was kind of wrapping up the chapter in Icewind Dale. Um, pretty much resigned life to just kind of chugging along in my own happy existence, and then I bumped into someone who was absolutely amazing, and... Things happen pretty quickly, but they were pretty pretty amazing at the same time. And die, motherfucker! And um, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about that. Um, I am now happily engaged to this person, who will probably make appearances in videos down the line once I can twist her arm far enough, slash find a long enough network cable that we can actually connect the other computer to the internet, record games together. I also have to break her in, she's a console gamer, no one's perfect. Shots fired, I know. Um, you can probably hear her in the background too, laughing and, you know, poking fun at me and all my ineptitude. How is that not reloading? Huh, I thought he took bags, took knives out of his bag when he... Put that there. See how that goes. Um, as for the delay, um... You know, but Captain Planets, you only just met this person, but surely you still have the internet and, you know, your computer and stuff. Um, you're actually spot-fucking on. Um, problem was that uh, we moved into a shiny new house which had more problems than I've seen in any in every house I've lived in up to this point. Um, amongst them was lack of internet. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, die! Oh my god, we're... Swinging our shit ineffectu ineffectively because we're all freaking level one. Okay, leather armor, which looks remarkably like plate there. But then you put it on him, and it goes from looking like awesome field plate to well, you know, something you'd probably uh, seen on Fat Life. Um, so yes, one of the issues was a complete lack of internet infrastructure. Um, and so we had to deal with the builder, we had to deal with the internet provider, we had to deal with uh, Telstra who deal with the telecommunications infrastructure, we had to deal with the NBN Co who deal with the internet infrastructure because Australia separates that now because of no reasons. Um, and it was all just one big god awful mess. Let's just put a shield around him because of reasons. Uh, oh. And... And, and that, 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 that's quite alright. You can respawn him and he will be okay. Oh, <laughs> yes. Shit. Yes. yes at, at the moment, said fiance is playing Diablo 3 for me and leveling up her barbarian so I can keep up with her character when we play on her Wii Station 360 later on. Seriously? <sighs> and if that's not love, I don't know what is. <laughs> for those who for those who can't hear, I don't know how sensitive the Yeti is. She just shot back with. For those who consider PC gaming, uh, flip that switch to set. Let's get rid of that ward. No. What's our map looking like anyway? Okay. So we've got a, a ward there. We've got things there. I reckon they're just alcoves though. Yeah. Um, just make sure I am going the right way. So we're just about turn. Yep. Okay, it was just slightly disorienting there because... Well, because I'm terrible. <laughs> now we need to flip each... Oh my god, again with the friggin' <coughs> plagiarized beholders. Uh, 
So yes, the only reason that I haven't uploaded for the last X months is because it has just taken that long for the world to provide internet access. Through no delay, uh, sorry, through no fault of our own, um, it has just taken for fucking ever. Um, and now, uh, that one's... Oh my god, I just want to go this way. Oh, we, we have a key, we have a key, we have a key. No, it doesn't fit. Screw you. <laughs> oh, my influence is showing through with the "that's what she said" shot from the from the back of the room. Actually, I'm pretty sure she was as bad as I am. I'm pretty sure I haven't corrupted anything there. Oh, we can get in. We can get in here. That's what he said. Uh, we'll put that in there. Holding item is full. A water skin. Oh, these bars along here show how hungry or thirsty or dead our characters are. Um, and you may see me caring about those meters for the time being, but I promise you that won't last long. Okay. So I reckon what we'll do is we'll play to the end of level 2 and we'll kind of do it in sections or hour-long episodes, whichever comes first. Um, I don't want to just drop down there yet. I think we're actually going to sleep here. And wake her west to keep an eye on everyone else. Okay, wizard sight's still going strong. Okay, so we... Let's have another look at the map. So we've gone through... Where are we? Oh, we're down here. Okay. So that drops down, that will drop down into where the ogre is, and then we're stuck dealing with that momentarily. Um, that's a door that we can't yet open. I'm reasonably sure ogre blade's behind that. So what we want to do is trail around. I'm also just keeping an eye on the map tiles because they vary according to what um, they represent. For example, slightly, it's either darker or lighter tiles represent secrets, and we care about those. Ah, okay, that was, that's... Okay, so that's just the door opening tutorial there. We just kind of skip past that. Sorry? Ah. <laughs> the door opening one-on-one, -on -one, use the handle. Uh, let's see, let's just give everyone a drink. And you'll see me doing this a lot, for those who remember my last playthrough of this, and Dungeon Master. Food loss, well, not food loss, finding yourself without food, where parts that, that actually matter really does hurt. I remember laking it up half the game in Dungeon Master to find a friggin' fountain. I'd love to know why Blackwell's not picking up or automatically restocking his knives. Oh, we have some arrows there, which if we had a bow would mean something. Um, Blackwell, you can put that there. Oh, there's a bow. See, the game knew what we needed, sort of. Stuff. Now, I'm going to stockpile weapons like a crazy holocaust prepper for the time being, because there is part of the game where assholes will take your things. And A, fuck them. B, it's just nice to be prepared. So put that there. That does a thing, I'm sure. Now, that's a teleport. Scroll of Dispelling, okay. Oh, okay, so we need to use that. Now, any magic user should be able to use that, I would think. Yep. So third level dispel. We don't really care too much about that. Go our fighters. Frontline actually kicked butt then. So that's a teleport. That's something we care about. Dispel. A war hammer, which is better than the hammer, I presume. Which is better than the mace. There is no actual manual as to what's better than what, so you just kind of have to go with, oh, I picked this up later in the game, so it must be superior to, you know, other thing. Um, and, 
I am still trying to work out the purpose of certain items that one finds at the end of the game at a point where they would seem to be thoroughly audios. And anyone who can fill me in on that one is still welcome to chime in and maybe we can find... Uh, do something cool with them between now and then. Oh, we've lost our wizard sight. We need to get back in here. The, the, uh, compass. What a useless spell. But why not? And shield. Herb. Doesn't need fourth level spells. Da, 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 da. Jahira. Chaos. Oh, she can cast a spell as well. Oh, read rune. Let's go and use that. On... Where was that one that they couldn't read? No, <laughs> fucking dispel the wall, you idiot. Oh dear, the one below is his own, own twin, honey magic blade will pierce his skin. Okay, so yeah, so that just tells us about the ogre. Ah, and yep, yeah, there's a stairway down to said ogre, because, you know, people are fucking lining up for that. And now let's snake our way around here and just see what the hell is through there before we jump down the pit. And, okay, we have no pixel size switches on the wall. No keys that are the same fucking color as the floor. Thank you, fuckwit Dungeon Master. I'm not bitter at all. And that was a spinner, I saw that. So where the hell are we? We didn't teleport, did we? No, it's just a spinner. So we can about turn. And but for the compass spell, I don't even think we would have had the spell effect to say that we turned around. Those of you more familiar with the game are welcome to correct me if I'm wrong. Which pretty much narrows the field down to, you know, everyone. Um, okay, well there's another pit. You know, we're just going to jump down there. Oh shit, shit, shit. Ogre, 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 motherfucking ogre. Just gonna grab shit while we're here. The last thing we want to do though is get ourselves trapped because we haven't saved our game and well, I don't feel like being dead this soon. This could be a very very short let's play. I'm starting to remember Kikoski's let's play of um, Minecraft. Okay, where the hell are we? We have teleported. To the other side of the level. And I did see that other stuff that was there, but um, the whole not being dead thing kind of appeals to me more than whatever cheap piece of armor that was. Uh, what was that anyway? Leather leggings. So I was only holding them that whole friggin' time. I'm gonna put all of our armor on the guy who can raise everyone else when they're dead, because logic. Oh, there's a switch. That did a thing, and we really should have taken better stock of our surroundings before doing a thing, but, you know, we're not here for my intelligence. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There we go. Oh shit, shit, we're about to die. Chaos. Well, that was friggin' close, so let's just rest here. Um, Blackwell, you can wake. Jahira can wake. Okay. So we just get our offensive magic ready. Wizard side again. Shield again. Um, we don't need light. That's absolutely useless at this point in the game. So I don't know why I've got those spells ready, taking a valuable space and pick that knife up. And we can just circle dance around that. Okay. Throwing knife. Coffer. What is in said coffer? Potion of cure poison, healing and strength. None of which I terribly care about. Check our wizard site. So it looks like we want that teleporter. So we'll just 
a snake back around here. So, for my own mental note, I'm switching switches to the uh, to the left. Nope, let's not walk into that. Even though I, in fact, did walk into it and I just got lucky that it didn't insta-jib. Right, what did that do? Did we spin? Did we... We just spun. Okay, nice try game. I'm onto your shit. Oh yeah, and as usual, I make no apologies for my language. We're all fucking adults here. Except me. <laughs> um, okay, so there's just a bunch of pointless spinners and a teleporter there because reasons. Fair enough. So I want to go down and kind of follow the left-hand wall. Dungeon crawling 101, really. Oh, left-hand wall led us nowhere. He lies. Ah, what the <coughs> hell was that? That must have been trapped. Um, no, oh, rambling in the background is perfectly fine. No more knives. Where does this teleporter take? This teleporter takes me back to the friggin... I don't want to be there. I want to be anywhere that's not here, in fact. That thing on the floor is a, a, a death gem or a life gem or... No! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh shit! Okay, well we're, we're committed now. We got to get ourselves a resurrection scroll pretty quickly. Ah! Oh, I am so butthurt over that. That wasn't just our our magic user down. That's our friggin' map too. How wizard site's still going when our wizard's dead? I'm not going to question that. Crap 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 Okay. See we had that. Well under control. Oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> we're failing so dismally. <laughs> healing, healing. Yeah, it's a bit late to go healing the dead guy. Can't believe that he got one shot. That's so frustrating. Where are we? I can't we're in a new area, so we can actually get stuff to, um... You no, know, thing here. Hopefully there's the Ogre Blade, we can shiv that mofo. Squall of Life! For the win. Raise dead. Oh, no, we can't yet. Ah, oh, we can't. We don't have his friggin' death gem, do we? We've got to go back in there and pick up that gem. <laughs> the irony, I was just explaining that one. Um, so, yeah, that thing that was on the ground was the death gem of an adventurer that had tried to kill the Ogre. When you die, instead of dropping bones or anything, for some reason you just turn into a little pretty, pretty red rock. And you've got to be carrying that and cast Raise Dead on said rock to then you know, bring forth the human once again. So we have to go in there and we have to retrieve Mr. Blackwell in order to revive him. Now what I am going to do here is save the game because screw doing that more than once. Save and play. And this is going to give me 10 minutes of black screen so I will um, edit that out. Just a sec. And we're back having saved our game. Um, oh, wow. I can't believe we lost Herb so... Not Herb, we lost Blackwell so early. Um, we, need, we need to get in there. We need to get his gem and we need to sort this out. Let's stop floating around. Let's get shit done. Walks into a wall. Of course! Reminds me of, um, there was an episode in Ghost LP's Fallout 3 Let's Play, um, where he gets ambushed. Um, go check out Ghost LP's, by the way, one of my favorite, he is my favorite Let's Player, and it was his encouragement that got me recording in the first place. Um, but there was one episode in his Fallout 3 Let's Play where he gets ambushed, 
and he pulls out you know, badass grenade number 74 and you know, proclaims quite proudly I'm going to murder shit so hard and then proceeds to fail spectacularly um, okay so we have our gem put that in the offhand and then we'll smash it with the hammer and completely fuck ourselves for the rest of the game nice job Herbert West scroll of life Oh, we already had a scroll of life too. Oh my, oh my god. Okay, we had a scroll of life from early on, if you might recall. See, no, that's not the one. It's a glyph scroll. We do want that though too. So wooden shield. We're just gonna kind of find a flat wall to sleep against. Yeah, that'll do. Wake up, wake up, wake up, just to. Get Mr. Blackwell back up there. Healing. Um, I don't know if you can hear it behind me, but there is a lot of wind, etc. There is a storm hitting, so um, I doubt I'm going to lose power and have to re-record anything or anything like that, but it's probably going to, at some point, um, just be audible, you know, through shit rattling in the background. Anyway... Wizard site back up, and we now need to go back to our regularly scheduled adventuring, so we're not going to worry too much about uh, Blackwell's gear and getting that back. I think that that's just ill-fated. Uh, we've already gone and poked the bear once, uh, so we want to snake our way around here. Nope. I'm just exploring all of this because somewhere around here is the Ogre Blade and, well, that's what we need. And there are no... Alright, so let's go up there. And I reckon we're going to need to dispel whatever that is. Yep, so where's that Glyph Scroll gone? Scroll of Life, Glyph Scroll. Remove Glyph. Swap back. Also, I'm, I'm sorry if levels are, if my voice is too loud, if the levels are off. Um, my testing is as thorough as ever, and just quickly checking that he's, no one's dying of thirst. Um, and I haven't actually reviewed the recordings of this or the character creation episode yet, so I don't know how it all sounds. Um, I will endeavour to adjust levels in the future. So that was a fountain... And is that what turns up? Yeah, that's what turns up as blue on the map. So we just need to get down to this corner here. And we've been down there before. So what gets us there? Is that a teleporter, perhaps? Um, where does that send us? Okay, we don't want that one. What about... The one that's here. Where did that put us? A oh, dead center of town where we don't want to be. That led us there. That leads there. Let's check to our east. East, mofo. Okay, so we can get back up the stairs. Back to level one. And in some respects that works to our advantage because... Um, because, 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 because... Where are we here? Had I just not had wizard sight? Oh, it helps if the wizard has wizard sight running. Anyway, um, why are you? You hungry? Yes. So everyone can eat then. No, you can't eat your staff, you idiot. Okay, now soon we do get a create food spell, and that will be a godsend. And eventually we get a spell that just fills everyone's meters up. I can't remember what it's called, but it's absolutely wicked, and that will be... You know, that, that We get that 
But we actually, unlike a lot of spells that turn the game into easy mode, we actually get that at a point in the game that you can enjoy it. A bit like Stone Skin in Eye of the Beholder. Now... I reckon we want to go this way. There's that glyph, which we are just going to remove because we have the scroll of life. Now we have a glyph scroll. Give it to a magic user. Who can then remove that pesky glyph from all those hard to reach places. Put that there. And all that does is make it more convenient to get from A to B and on the weekend C. But what I'm hoping we have done <coughs> is unlocked an area that's not... Oh, that's just as fucked as every, everywhere else. Good to know. Scroll of Dispelling, we will want that. I'm just going to put stuff here for now. And teleport the hell out of there. Okay, Blackwell, you can have your holding bag. Now, what was that that we picked up? That was a just a shirt. So, we, who still needs a shirt? Oh, Blackwell needs a shirt. Oh, yeah, that would have been what Blackwell was wearing. That makes sense. I'm willing to bet that we picked up his pants too. Yep, sure enough. Okay, so... Um, without moving our party members around, let's just see what we're missing here. Um, I really don't want to go exploring the other half of that m of the map yet, or that side of the map yet, but I don't see us as having a great deal of choice in the matter either. That's a hole that goes nowhere. Ah, I know where we need to go. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so, patience is a virtue. And that's what that uh, marker in the, the hallway said. That's not where we want to go. No, in fact, I've gone completely the wrong way. Ineptitude ho. Um, yep, straight down here. So I'm getting the hang of this. I can do this. Um... Yet patience is a virtue. Um, I can do this. Uh, in terms of the channel more broadly, um, unfortunately I do now have a, an enormous family. Um, from a recording perspective, from a personal perspective, you know, hell's to the yeah. Um, I'm, no, I'm never going to say, oh, unfortunately I have kids. Because um, frankly I freaking love the little, little buttheads, even if they are buttheads a lot of the time. Um... I have gone from little Ensign Planets and the... I don't actually think I gave my son a, a, a gaming name yet. I don't think I'd quite started the indoctrination. Um, but I've gone from two to six. And yes, they all get along perfectly fine. They're all very happy, healthy little buttheads and their butthead ways together. Um, but it is naturally, with that many kids, very difficult to get the time and the, the piece to record. And that is a trade-off that I quite happily live with, and um, you are all going to have to live with that too. What it means, realistically, is that there is just no way that I am going to be able to record um, daily like I used to be. And frankly, as I said in one of my Quake uh, Episode 5 uh, play th uh, Let's Plays, that was just an issue on its, in, on its own anyway. Um, chain leggings. Let's give those to a cleric as well, having thus pro having just proved his usefulness. Those and those. Um, so the, the excessive gaming was a distraction. I wasn't spending enough time with the kids anyway, and now I've got someone that I love spending time with and can spend a whole lot more time with as well. So again, the, there, are, there are just other things that take the priority there. But I do still enjoy the hell out of gaming. And now that I have the internet back, I'll probably go to, say, one a week for the moment while I'm finding my feet. And then... Now, this tells me that there's something important there that I really need to be thinking about. I've pushed you. 
Okay, where am I now? Okay, so we want to go... We want to get compass going, I think. Oh, fireball. West. Still heading west in that same space, yes. And west, and now north. So what's so special about this space that we need all these wards and a teleporter to protect? There's nothing that would seem... Well, let, let's look at this through Reveal Truth. Now, I'm reasonably sure that Reveal Truth actually just destroys a cursed item in your hand, so for present purposes I've just wasted a spell, but no one really cares. What I do hope to do though soon is, as I've said, is record with said fiance because we're both gamers and gaming is awesome and stuff and it's a good thing to do together. But otherwise I'm probably going to do one thing a week for the moment and once I've really kind of found my feet again then we'll go back to maybe one or two a week. Um, but I'll be recording them en masse on the weekends where all of the kids are with our respective ex-partners. Um, and yes, that was ingenious signing them up so that we have every other weekend. Childless, save and play, save as game A, and I'll be back once it's finished sa saving the game. Okay, we're back. Um, I also don't know how effective my sound muffling, uh, sorry, the keyboard sound muffling is. Okay, so that goes there. We don't really care about that. We truly did not want to get stuck there. We don't want to sleep here either. Um, so they're both emerald key doors that are locked. So we want to head due south. And apparently not. Okay. So what am I overlooking here, guys? I think we want to go back upstairs, to be honest, because I don't seem to be able to interact with anything down here. None of these map tiles would appear to indicate a secret wall of any sort. So we'll go back upstairs. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, well there's an ogre there. He can open doors. That's the thing. I don't remember that. Um, let's see here. Just look along here. Uh, that's to the left. So um, I just remember there being a, a long pathway heading heading east on the one of the first levels, bearing a secret. And it's not jumping out at me, so I just want to make sure that I'm giving the game every opportunity to put up. Right, well there's something locked there. There is something there with a the ability to unlock. And we're just not finding the key and I'm probably walking straight past it again and again and again. Old scroll. Um so I guess something else I should mention is I'm not using my clue book anymore. I actually threw that out when I moved house. Um Throughout, throughout, throughout all my guidebooks actually because I just didn't like using them as a crutch and they were taking up space and stuff okay so that unhides that door how about we find the thing that friggin unlocks that door we can't just stab it can we no worth a shot <laughs> Probably the best possible time for my partner to walk in. <laughs> Love you. Love you. One of those situations that I probably caught enough to know I didn't want to catch the whole thing. Oh dear, well that really narrows it. <laughs> Um, 
So heading back along here is completely not where I thought we were going. Oh no, we were in fact going there, I just can't read maps. Product of the Australian scouting system. Is there a switch along switch along the wall or something that I'm overlooking? Suddenly goes back to the freaking clue. Ah, oh, that's right. But that I'm sure that we wanted that. I'm sure that we wanted that to be pressed. Because I think that that, um, that unhid something. Because that, 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 that's a key lock, that other door. And I don't know if, if, um, re-triggering that pl pressure plate will actually unfuck us at the moment anyway. I don't think it's going to unhide the thing that it, well, sorry, rehide the thing that it unhid. Uh, let's see. North. Um. Oh, shit. <coughs> okay, well, that, that'll do it. Back up. Okay, so we found a hole. Yep. How do we even get to that? We must have gotten so turned around there. Uh, let's go back and try that whole area again, this time without the falling onto the friggin' ogre that we can't currently attack with anything because, you know, game dev's got the troll on. Well, ogre. Um, through here. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? So we want to take two steps back, left, and then down. That's a spinner. We want to be facing north. And. Like I said, this should be a dead end. Right here should be a dead end. But it is not. And in fact we have the ability to stand in what should be according to this solid wall. How can we see? Is that maybe reveal truth also unhit that? Well, sleeping doesn't seem to have worn off. That, that's, I, I, I didn't think it acted as a, a passive true seeing buff. I just figured that it disintegrated trolling things in your hand if they were cursed. Oh, lesson learned. Let's not jump down the long drop. Oh, now we're... Oh, 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 fuck you, game. Fuck you sideways with a pineapple. <coughs> yep. No lube for this game. Um, well, we want to open that. Shit. Ha! Screw you! Right, so where was that door? Shit, which door was that? I think that was the one on the far west. Yep, that was the one on the west. Which is still locked, we still can't open. I reckon that we come out with the ogre blade from there. Well, something happened in there. I'm thinking maybe the ogre attacked the door? I don't know what that spell effect was. But this is getting quite tedious, the whole not knowing where the key for this other door is. Um, so that's all been explored. That's been done. That's been done. Where are we now? Just there. 
So that, that was door opening 101, that was spell casting 101, that was drinking water 101, that was falling down a pit and dying 101. Um, so we just seem to have hit the banging our head on a fucking wall 101. <laughs> yeah, for, 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 those, for those following my partner in the background, she's playing Diablo 3 on my behalf, which I think, I think I mentioned earlier, and uh, she was playing as a wizard, and now she's playing a barbarian for the first time, and it's just face-rolling her hard. I'm over it in a big way. I do not blame her for rage quitting. haven't rage quit yet. <clears throat> oh god, don't tell me you're hungry again. I fed you last week. Actually, it is annoying that he's going through so much food, but we are moving around a fair bit. It's just concerning because, well, we can all see how much food I don't have. Struggle is, real. Struggle is very real. And there's a door right there, and I don't know how to open it, and it's pissing me off that I can't... Try turning the handle? <sighs> if, if it had a handle. <laughs> I just don't know what to do right now. I'm just walking around in circles and bugging everyone. Let's see, Blackwell, get your wizard sight back up and another fireball. Shield over our res guy. Okay, I am actually thinking that I might have to refer back to the last Let's Play to work out that bit. I'm just overlooking something again and again and again, and I don't know what I'm overlooking. I've interacted with, ev with everything interactable. I've been smoting. I've exhausted all of my food. It just seems that I'm walking straight past... I'm assuming it's the key for that other door. That I'm... Fuck you. Okay, so the ogre's right there. Duly noted. We're going to go this way. And yes, the ogre is carrying a key for those of you who saw his sprite and are going, but he has a key, can't you just stab him and take it? Well, the thing is that we can't stab him yet. We need a particularly enchanted sword to hurt that one. And then once we have said sword, then it sucks your life until you, you've killed the ogre. Because reasons. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Getting turned around an awful lot. Okay. <laughs> um, so there's nothing in there. I haven't overlooked a switch on the wall or a floor colored key. I'm going to be bitter about that for a very long time. And I don't think the pixel sized wall switches are quite there yet. I don't know why I went that way. Let's go the other way. Because there is a, another long drop just over here that we can use. <coughs> okay, so that's locked, that's locked. Um, everything down here is trapped and poisonous or both. We want to head due south and explore that one corner. Just to clear that off on our map. And now... I guess we just have to check the floor out in here? I mean, you know, the floors look great, don't get me wrong, I just... Mmm! It's like one brown paved floor after another. I swear to god I'm looking for a floor colored key again. Okay, that's a teleporter that leads to pain and misery. Um, it's basically the door in Bino the Elephant. Um, that was a thing. See, it does, doesn't make much sense that we had this area here that doesn't then lead to the sort of stabbing things and moving on with our lives. And you've got that little blocked out area there, which again, this game didn't... 
This game didn't waste a lot of map space. If I push that again, how does the world change? Have we eliminated poverty, disease, hunger, or moved a wall? Be happy for confirmation of any of the above. We're not going through there. Oh, that teleported me. Watch where you're going, dipshit. So let's head south. So this game, the, the developers didn't waste a lot of space. They would use the, pretty much the whole of the, the map area. And yet you'd have areas cordoned off with walls and so forth. But um, then, then you'd have things behind. See, like that. I saw, I fucking saw that. Where was that? Yeah, I saw that right there. Right, let's get back there. How do I get back there? Um, okay, so we can snake our way along the left-hand wall for the moment. I did see that. Patience is a virtue. I was sure that I was seeing a wall move. Try that one last time and then I will give up. Aha! Yep, we've found something new. Hello, friggin' Luya. Just in time for Jahira to friggin' take a dirt nap. And I have a message from Vodafone. Apparently I have managed to again use up all of my mobile data because they're still on the billing cycle from when I didn't have internet. Healing because Jahira has a hit point. Now she has three. Click that. No, no, no. Where am I? Where am I? Let's not do anything too stupid here. Okay. Uh, step to the left, and shake to our right, <laughs> hands on our hips, and casting wizard sight, and we head straight down. You thought I was going to carry on with that, didn't you guys, huh? Troll. We all know better than to think I have a sense of humour. I mean, fuck's sake, who do you think I am? Okay, so we're just going to stand here now and let that unhide itself. Oh my god, I'm going to fall for that again and again and again. But hang on, hang on. I'm still in the room. Okay, that works. Okay, so we're just going to walk around it. We have meat. Check out my meat, guys. A war hammer. We still don't have the fucking ogre blade or a key, though. Oh my god, I'm gonna cut a bitch. So I'm gonna away. The only thing I can think of is, did that open the locked door back up there? I was looking at that hallway. Patience is a virtue. We stand there. That opens this, this area up. But there's no indication that there's anything down there. So I assume then that we've exhausted everything that this area was meant to do. So we take that teleporter. That brings us back here. Okay. That brings us back there. We don't want to be back there, though. And I swear to God, if Moo is hungry again... Oh, 
don't know what to do about food at that point because we are just running out and I think that might just be the end of Zombie Shakespeare at that point. <coughs> oh my god, Herbert West is... Oh, they're thirsty. We can, we can deal with that. <coughs> we has water. <coughs> oh, another path. It was actually fortuitous that they were they were hungry. Oh, we're in a new area. Trips over a rock, everyone dies. What are you? Tablet of Runatech. So that is a fighter. You feel stronger, so I think he just gained some strength there. Um, yes, a whole point of it. Wow. Which, if that was to then wield the Ogre Blade, would mean something. We found, we are finding everything except what we are down here for. Oh my lord, we really are. Um... And we're getting there slowly but surely, but we're not... I think we're getting there too slowly at this rate. And I need to know where we're going or our whole party is going to die. And then I'll rage. <coughs> oh my god, let me guess. Hungry, oh my god. Have an apple. Sounds familiar. <laughs> Actually, yes, that's pretty much my response, my and my partner's response to the kids, you know, no less than 600 fucking times a day. Um... Well, I'm going to rest here, sparingly, because we don't have any food, and I'm sure that we're going to wake up hungry. Um, we're going to save our game, and I'm actually going to call it there for this episode, because we're up to an hour anyway, and I'm going to look up, I'm going to look at where we need to go next. I'm not going to look at the whole solution, but I'm just going to work out what floor tile I'm ignoring, so that we can move on from there. Um, so until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.